Okay, boys and girls, I want you to think right now back to what we were doing the last time I was here. And who can remember the name of what we were doing the last time I was here? That really important reading strategy. What was I starting to teach you how to do? Delana? Synthesizing. Oh my goodness, we were talking about synthesizing. Who can tell me what in the world is synthesizing? What does that even mean? Tell me one thing you know about it, Una. It's where, um, uh, where your thinking changes when you go through the book. So, like, let's say you were thinking it's about, it's about how many days it takes for something, but then right. you think that it... It's about building boats. Yeah. You know what? That's such a great example. It's exactly right. It's about how our thinking changes as we keep reading. What is really important to do while we're synthesizing? What's really important to do while we're synthesizing, Kaylin? Uh, inferring and connections. Huge. Yeah, exactly. All those good reading strategies that we know how to do, we have to do all of those things in order to synthesize. But Una said the most important thing is that just watching our thinking change. So do you remember the last time I left you, we were reading this really incredible, fabulous book called... Jumping Mouse. Yeah, the story of Jumping Mouse. And while you, we were working through this together, you guys were doing all of those things that good readers do. You were inferring, you were asking questions, you were making connections, but you were also starting to synthesize, remember? So what I did is I made us a chart of our thinking the last time I was here. So it says, Our Synthesis of the Story of Jumping Mouse by Miss R. Ann Class. Because my name was too long to put up there. So here's what I said. At first, we thought this story was about being brave because Jumping Mouse went on a dangerous journey. Remember that? Remember how we were thinking and he started to go on this journey? In fact, our sticky note right here said, This story is about being brave. That's what we said. Then we kept on reading. And then we were thinking something different. So I wrote, now we're thinking it's about keeping your hopes up because Jumping Mouse keeps hoping he'll get his dreams. Do you remember that part? So we wicked a little further and remember how he, um, how jumping, how the magic frog gave him the power to jump really high. And you were like, oh yeah, it's really about keeping his hopes up. And you were making those connections to Stuart Little and Rudy. Remember? Yeah, those are great connections. But then I put, wow, now this is really different. Because what happened? What changed that all of a sudden made us think this was about something really different, Jocelyn? That monster, he was wishing that he could get his, he can see it again. And then so he, he, so he gave him a name and then so Jumping Mouse can be seen. Yeah, exactly. Remember? Remember the big, the big buffalo? was there and he couldn't see anymore and Jumping Mouse gave him his sight? But then, Go ahead. But then he lost his own sight. Exactly. So that led us to synthesize, we're thinking this is really about helping others. Because our thinking changed a lot from the beginning. We didn't even see that one coming. So now I'm ready to keep reading. Are you ready to keep thinking? Yeah. Okay, yeah. good. I'm going to reread the page that we read the last time so we can get our heads back in it. Okay, here we go. Jumping Mouse was sad to see so wondrous a beast so helpless. When I began my journey, he said, Magic Frog gave me a name and strong legs to carry me to the far off land. My magic is not as powerful as hers, but I'll do what I can to help you. I name you eyes of a mouse. As soon as he had spoken, Jumping Mouse heard the bison snort with joy. He heard, but he could no longer see, for he had given the bison his own sight. And that's the last page we read, so let's see what happens next. Are you thinking? Okay, here we go. Thank you, said eyes of a mouse. You are small, but you have done a great thing. If you will hop along beneath me, the shadows of the sky won't see you, and I will guide you to the mountains. Jumping Mouse did as he was told. He hopped to the rhythm of the bison's hooves, and in this way he reached the foot of the mountains. I am an animal of the plains, so I must stop here, said Eyes of a Mouse. How will you cross the mountains when you can't see? There will be a way, said Jumping Mouse. 
Hope is alive within me. He said goodbye to his friend. Then he dug a hole and went to sleep. Does anybody have any thinking right now that they want to share out loud? Catherine, what are your thoughts right now? Why did um, the bison, why didn't the mouse just dig a hole <coughs> through the ground to get to the... You know what, that's an interesting question. So why didn't the mouse just like dig a hole to go through the mountains? Hmm. That's a good question. Any person in this room trying to synthesize what just happened right now? Something different happened right then. Una, can you cl- cash in on it? Why ch- I just have a question. Sure. Why would he just dig a hole under where the bison was? Like what he was supposed to call us? Like why would the bison just stop and eat while the mouse took like a rest or something? Hmm, that's an interesting question. Well, why do you think the mouse had to hop along under the bison? Because he was blind, so he couldn't see, like, hawks coming. Exactly. So the bison was keeping him. That's what it said back here. If you hop along beneath me, the shadows of the sky won't see you, and I will guide you to the mountains. So who's helping whom now? Bison. Bison. The bison was helping the bison. Why? Because there's, uh, like, uh, like, a bird could see. Exactly. Exactly. Who had originally helped whom? Who had originally helped whom, Jordan? He he helped the mouse. Who did? The um, mouse helped him. The mouse helped the bison. Now the bison is helping the mouse. Hmm. That's making me think something right there. I'm going to read on a little bit further to see if you can think about what I'm what I'm thinking this story might be about right now. Did you have one more thing to add, Tyler? Um. If he can't see, then um, the shadows of the sky will come down and probably eat him, and right. he won't realize. And what did we infer the shadows of the skies were, just to kind of keep that back in our head? What did we infer that they were, Morgan? Birds. Hawks. Hawks, birds, some kind of bird, predatory bird that was in the sky. All right, let's keep going. The next morning, Jumping Mouse woke to cool breezes that blew down from the mountain peaks. Cautiously, he set out in the direction of the coolness. He had not gone far when he felt fur beneath his paws. He jumped back in alarm and sniffed the air. Wolf! He froze in terror. But when nothing happened, he gathered up his courage and said, Excuse me, I'm Jumping Mouse, and I'm traveling to the far-off land. Can you tell me the way? I would if I could, said the wolf. But a wolf finds his way with his nose, and mine will no longer smell for me. What happened? asked Jumping Mouse. I was once a proud and lazy creature, replied the wolf. I misused the gift of smell, and so I lost it. I have learned not to be proud, but without my nose to tell me where I am and where I am going, I cannot survive. I am waiting here for the end. Jumping Mouse was saddened by the wolf's story. He told him about magic frog and eyes of a mouse. I have a little magic left, he said. I'll be happy to help you. I'll name you Nose of a Mouse. What do you imagine is happening right now? What do you imagine is going to occur next? What's your thinking right here? What's your thinking right here, Annette? Um, that um, Jumping Mouse is helping everybody so they can stay alive, but he won't. So what's your thinking? Put that in or put that into some different words. Jumping Mouse is helping everybody, but Jumping Mouse won't live until so but he he mm. wants everybody else to live. Wow. So what is that that's making me think a little bit like so he's giving so much. What's he getting in return? So it, you think that all those things are making him keep his hope alive? Yeah. Wow. Did you want to add something, Justin? Help other people? Do you think that that's what this is really about? Justin, I'm going to write that down because what you said, help others, and what Rodrigo said about keeping hope alive, I think those two things can kind of go together here. Let's finish. Let's get close to the end and see if we can come down to a final synthesis. Bryce, did you have one more thing to add? Well, I was saying, well, when Jumping now said there will be a way, uh, I think he 
LGBT. So you think he's going to find somebody else to help him along his way. All right, let's see what happens. Jumping Mouse did as he was told and jumped as high as he could. Then he felt the air lifting him higher still into the sky. He stretched out his paws in the sun and felt strangely powerful. To his joy, he began to see the wondrous beauty of the world above and below and to smell the scent of the earth and the sky and living things. Jumping Mouse, he heard Magic Frog call, I give you a new name. Are you ready? You are now called Eagle. Turn into an eagle. And you will live in the far off land forever. He turned into an eagle? I Wow. We didn't see that coming, did we? We did not know that that was going to happen. Now, let's think this all the way through. He started giving away his sight. He gave away his sense of smell. He got to almost to the far off land and he realized, I don't know what I'm going to do anymore. And then, what happened? Then what happened? What, 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 what went on? Something major occurred. Alex, what happened? He um, started getting his sense of smell and Maybe his smell eyesight back. Foot. Yeah, he did. He started getting his sense of smell and his eyesight back. And then what did he become? What did he become there, Una? Um, he became an eagle. So with all of these things happening... Why do you think this author chose to turn Jumping Mouse into an eagle? What is the author trying to teach us? What's our final synthesis? Okay, so now let's think. What's our final synthesis here? Our final synthesis. Rodrigo, give me some ideas. Um, uh, I was just thinking that um, uh, he, he, he... The author was trying to teach us um, um, uh, about, um, 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 I forgot. Oh, it got stuck in your brain. Someone help Rodrigo out. Una, help him. I think that is about helping others and then they'll give you something that's even more that's just as special as helping others. Wow, Una, that's such great thinking. So that by helping others, you get something even more wonderful in return? Because do you think, sit down your button for me, do you think that Jumping Mouse, when he was giving his eyesight away... That was fun for him. Right, and do you think that he knew that that's what was going to happen to him at the end? No. 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 So helping others helps you get even more. Jocelyn, what's your thought? I was thinking that um, eagles can really see good and they can smell good, so that's why he named them the eagle. Right, so he's come to be something more powerful than he even was to start out with. Wow, that's such great thinking. Did you get it back, Rodrigo? Yeah. Yeah, go. Like, um, it's like um, he, uh, the, guy, the person borrowed um his smell and his eyesight and then at the end he got to get something even better in return that's right any other th- good thoughts i want to get him out um justin what's your thoughts <laughs> exactly help others so that you'll get things in return bryce what do you want to say oh i yeah. How should the, at the end when uh, uh, the frog turned him into an eagle, I was wondering if the frog gave his eyesight or smell away. Wow, I didn't even think of that. Did you guys hear what Bryce just said? Mm-hmm. He said he wondered if when Magic Frog turned Jumping Mouse into an eagle, did Magic Frog lose his powers? Bryce, I didn't even think of that. Do you think the author gives us enough evidence to let us know what happened? No, we have to kind of infer that one on our own. That was really amazing. Morgan, let me catch your thought. If you keep your hope alive, you, you'll get whatever, wherever you want. Oh, Morgan, that's another really important thing. I'm so glad you said that. Do you hear her? When you keep hope alive 
and you keep working towards your dreams, what happens? That's right. You'll get your dreams like Jumping Mouse did make it to the far off land. Did he get there the way he thought he was going to? No. No. So even when he had those hardships, those yeah, journeys, he... Tyler, you blow me away. He got even more than he wanted. That's amazing. You know what? You guys are starting to really understand what it means to synthesize. I want to show you something really quick before we're finished. I want to show you something. I want you to think about it like this. When we started reading this story, our thinking was kind of small. This is just about being brave. Our thinking was kind of small. Then as we continued reading, look what happened to our thinking. It got a little bit bigger. But our thought, it's still about being brave, isn't it? But it's just bigger than that. And then when we read a little bit more, what happened? It got bigger. It got bigger. But did our other thinking go away? So what happens with synthesizing? What happens with synthesizing that to our thinking? What happens there, Kaylin? It changes and it gets bigger and bigger. And bigger. And then, go ahead, Delana, do you want to add something? And then it gets, it gets like real, real higher and be real different that you, um, something, something else that you, that you, something else, like if you say something about like something, this, something, it's going to be different, real different. Exactly. Exactly. Every time. And you know what I want to do at the end of this little drawing I did down here? So you can think about it as our thinking got bigger and bigger and bigger, but then I want to do this around it. Why do you think I did that? Why do you think I put a heart at the end on top of all that thinking? Una? Because all of it goes together and they want you to know that it's all like in one big thing and the heart means that it's all in one place. Yeah, the heart of the story. The heart. Exactly, exactly. You guys are great. Thank you so much for synthesizing with me.